I am not here to um to bash women, okay? It's it's not that's not what I want to be known for, and that's probably what I am known for. Um, but if you actually tap the video and listen to what I'm saying, um, you will actually hear that that's not what I'm saying. I'm actually saying what I'm saying is I want to eliminate the idea or the ideology and the pushing and the glorification of single motherhood. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Dutch, the black non-democrat. And if you're finding my channel for the first time here on YouTube and you enjoy this content, please make sure that you share the content by hitting that like button. And if you really enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button. Let's get this video started. All right, folks, I just want to clarify something here, man. Um, the thing is, I created this channel for a lot of reasons at first, right? And when I, you know, did create it, I was all over the place. This channel was actually called something else. It was called My Logic Sense News and Commentary. Man, I love talking about these crazy stories. It was basically supposed to be a platform where I just look at all of the craziest videos possible news stories and just react to it right give my logic sense on it right and that went to shit. now at the end of the day I revamped this thing and if you guys know and been watching me y'all know how you know the struggle was hard for me to get to this point on YouTube but I revamped this thing summer of last year August I think 8th of last year and you know I started off and I changed the name I said look I need to I need to just change this name this this my logic sense and my logic sense has been with me ever since I came to YouTube in 2015 man right on the Dutch talk TV um, channel I had a show called my logic sense so I, I, the logic of that sense was hey make a channel about that but it just didn't work out so I changed the name to the black non-democrat because I wanted to tackle the issue of black people basically you know voting for the democratic party man i just wanted to get in there and, and and say what i had to say but that just took me here it took me there it took me there it took me there it took me there it took me everywhere i mean i'm talking about the lgbt community one day then i'm talking about biden one day then i'm talking about britney griner i did not even know this chick before she got locked up why am i talking about her he still shouldn't trade it for the merchant of death but anyway the thing is i was all over the place and i was like wow man i need to, i need some traction because i wasn't getting over 100 views a video right and I, and that means that you know youtube just didn't know what to do with my videos right so i said you know what man take a step back real quick think about this who are you i'm a father um who are you i am a husband who are you? I'm a black man. Who are you? I'm a masculine black man who wants to preserve his lineage, who wants to preserve his race. And I said to myself, wow, you know, what do, that, what do I always talk about? What's the through line with all of which you guys just heard? It is single motherhood in the black community i said wow you know and i started off with one video then that turned into vi two videos that turned into three videos and then this whole ideology of the channel came into fruition you see i want to eliminate or at least minimize single motherhood especially in the black community i want to do it in america because it's not good for no society but the black community we're on life support baby due to this single motherhood thing now a lot of men come to my channel and they look look you can think what you want to think about how you want to think about it men but at the end of the day i am not here to um 
to bash women, okay? It's it's not that's not what I want to be known for, and that's probably what I am known for. Um, but if you actually tap the video and listen to what I'm saying, um, you will actually hear that that's not what I'm saying. I'm actually saying what I'm saying is I want to eliminate the idea or the ideology and the pushing and the glorification of single motherhood. You see what I'm saying? See, it's one thing being a single mother and trying to do things alone and, you know, you don't have a man to help you with your children. You got two jobs. You're you're taking care of everything. And that's understandable. You, you got to do it. You're a grown woman and you made these choices to, you know, have sex with this guy and have his baby. Now, at the end of the day, um, did he sell your pipe dreams? That's for you and him to work out. But what's actuality what's what's objective and not subjective is that baby is actually here and that baby has to be getting taken care of so at the end of the day you have to at least give that baby the best chance possible and that's what i advocate for that's why i created the 12 step program for single mothers which you guys can hit that card or go down in the description box and start your journey if you are a single mother out here struggling and you need a husband i give you 12 steps on how to do this baby and they are hard as shit it's like the seal team six a lot of people are gonna try out for this but only two or three will succeed so be prepared to um do some psychological work on yourself going through those steps but that's what i talking about a lot of men come to this channel and just want to bash women go on my comment section hey forget women Mick Tao. Um, passport boys cool red pill that is cool and i am all for it baby do what you do you got the right to not want to mess with these women at the end of the day don't come to my channel though you see and this is from me to you don't come to my channel expecting me to just be that you see i'm a layered person and i do believe in finding someone for your child I, I i do believe in that if the woman actually want to do this i don't see anything wrong with it because it's one reason if this reason did not exist i will be right along with you bruh but this reason right here exists over 60 percent of our women have children and over 80 percent of our children are born to single mother homes at the end of the day these children need to get fathered how else are they going to get fathered at the end of the day i understand in a perfect world mm, we don't need them forget them period and i'm not telling you to go date them what i'm saying is the ideology of actually dating a woman with a child now women that's what that 12-step program is for is to humble you and I under, like I said, I understand why these men feel like that. And I, I'm not going to take that feeling away from them because it's a lot of women out here more than less that's just not humble, arrogant, feel entitled, tell I don't need no man. The more you say that, the more you will not get a man. You ain't just going to get one, you know. And a lot of them want one, but they got this mask on they, they they hide under this facade that i don't need no man but you do you you got rats and roaches in your house and 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 you don't have a job your child is living in destitute y'all are in dilapidation poverty like shit and even if you're not at the end of the day you probably at work all the goddamn time with that kid mm, right there just is getting neglected Sort of like that woman who basically left her children in the house for what? Three months? Two months? Come on, man. Talking about the baby said it was dead. What the fuck? See, that's why these women don't need to be raising these children by themselves. And at the end of the day, that's why I'm here to help minimize single motherhood. First, I want to get them humble. I want to train them their their psychological mindset to understand how to submit to a man, understand 
what a suitable man looks like, what a competent man looks like. And I guarantee if you guys go to that 12 step program that I just put out, I just created, it's a playlist. It's a little series right down in the description box. I guarantee you that if you work those steps, you will become this woman. And I guarantee if we do that, get these women back up to at least humble status, these men will start to understand, um, all right, cool, you know, because I think a lot of men just don't want to deal with a headache, just don't want to deal with entitlement, just don't want to deal with arrogance, just don't want to deal with women who think that they are a package deal and um, you you take us so you ain't taking the net, all of that. Come on, man. Just be humble, shorty, because he can do that passport shit. Yes, he can. And if enough men do that, ain't, ain't going to be no more black race. Is that what y'all want? Y'all want to take it to the wire? Let's take it to the fucking wire then. But if you don't, start loosening up. And I'm um, humble enough. That's all I got. Y'all go down in the description box. Tell me what you think. And ladies, you can hit this video series to start your journey. Or just look at this video to get that first step. And if you enjoy the first step or think that you can get through the first step, go ahead and move on to the second.